Hello guys, I am Yash. So I recently got a request uh, from a subscriber uh, that uh, he wants to learn how to add a data to table view from API. So even I think that's a good idea. So let's get started. Uh, I will first give you a preview of what we will be creating. So here I have a country capital thing uh, inside table view. We will be definitely not using a custom table cell but uh, this is what we will be doing uh, this all comes from api now here is the api i'll uh, link it below uh, in the description but uh, here we can see that inside array uh, there is dictionary for each uh, country so it's and uh, this uh, the way i am viewing it it's because of json view extension here is the extension do get it it's really helpful uh, if you are uh, regularly using apis and all that stuff and uh, we can also see here that it's uh, 0 1 and all the stuff below the browser right so it's uh, it will be very useful so get this extension and uh, let's get started so here is our api so and one more thing uh, this tutorial will be divided into two parts so this is the first part uh, here we will be parsing our json uh, our api and uh, in another part uh, we will be adding data to the table view okay so let's hop over to xcode and get started so i'll get rid of this okay now we are create a new xcode project single view application i'll make it full screen okay. there it is. Uh, say country country capital and uh, make sure the settings are same as below uh, main thing you need to check is language swift and device is iphone hit next and uh, save it wherever you like so uh, first of all uh, let's uh, hop over to view controller so because we are passing uh, the api right now so let's get rid of this so first create a function parse data okay and uh, inside that function let's create a constant url is equal to and uh, this will be our url so paste it here okay and uh, so we are done with url now we need a request so request is equal to url request here it is open parentheses it will be this one first one url url here type url open parentheses and it will be string okay url string so here it is only string so hit enter and pass in our url and add exclamation so this will say that this url will exist okay and uh, one more step for request it will be request dot http method and it will be double quotes get okay so here we are and uh, now we need configuration session okay so now let's get configuration configuration equals to url session configuration url hit tab session configuration open parenthesis and close parentheses uh, no i think a url session configuration it will be dot default okay and uh, now we need a session only session okay so here it is url session and it will be with uh, this one a configuration delegate and a delegate queue okay so let's get it uh, URL configuration will be our recently created constant so it will be configuration and uh, delegate will be nil and for delegate queue will be main dot uh, it's an enum so just hit press dot and type in uh, we need to complete it one two bracket so hit dot okay why it's not up uh, let's try it again uh, I'll do command Z. I'm uh, okay. So hit enter operational Q dot main. Okay. So here it is. 
so we are uh, done with the declaration part so let's start uh, let's get started with the task equals to url it will be session dot data task with url request this one uh, not this one this one with url request and here we will uh, pass in our okay not this one it will be session dot this one uh, with completion handler and url request okay so with url request and completion handler hit enter pass in our request okay so it's done and uh, for okay for completion handler hit enter data will be data response will be response and uh, error will be error and for code we will start coding so first of all if error is not equal to nil okay if this means that if error exists then just print that error okay and let's give brackets here brackets else uh, else we will try to get the data so uh, we will do it under uh, do catch statement because it uh, throws data I'll just get space okay so let's do it here do it will be let fetched data equals to try json serialization dot json object this one okay with data and option uh, options reading options so hit enter with data will be our data this data okay so just pass in data and uh, here just uh, hit dot and we will get new table leaves okay and uh, uh, as uh, you can see that we are getting an array okay so we will uh, first this is an array okay square brackets means array so we will downcast it as ns array okay so here we have it so let's just print our data fetched data okay and uh, okay what is this error about invalid conversion from function of type okay uh, else do and let's just add a catch here a print error 2 and uh, I think it okay it went out and uh, after this task gets completed just uh, write task dot resume okay so and here we need to downcast it so after as add exclamation okay I think it should go command B okay uh, here also we need to add exclamation command B okay it worked so let's uh, try to run and see uh, what we get so under view did load just uh, write parts data uh, that was our function name okay so hit command R so app is loading so once the data is fetched we will add it to uh, for, uh, then we will create a class of our uh, country and uh, capital so here it is so we are getting the data so let's just uh, get started with our class so after the last uh, bracket create a class country okay we, uh, then we will uh, add two properties first property will be country and it will be of type string and another will be capital and it will be of type string uh, now we need initializer so in it uh, country 
is string and uh, we are doing this for storing data so and uh, self dot country is equal to country and self dot capital is equal to capital okay. so here we have it so our uh, class is ready so let's just start uh, get start adding data so variable uh, fetched country is equal to it will be of type country it will be an array of type country so here we have it fetched country so before parsing data uh, we will just empty it once if it's not empty okay and uh, so let's start adding data okay uh, as we know that uh, each element of array is of type dictionary and uh, each dictionary is of a certain country okay so let's uh, start adding data so for each fetched country in fetched data okay let country let each country is equal to each fetched country we will downcast it to string any string any and uh, now we will just fetch country is equal to each country and uh, let's see what how it is stored so for the country name its name and uh, for capital its capital okay so it will be each country name and this we have to downcast it as a string and for capital it will be capital equals to each country capital and uh, let's again downcast it as a uh, string and now we just need to add it uh, to our uh, this array okay fetched country array so let's just add it it will be self dot fetched country dot append and this will be of type country open and close close one more okay we need the initializer so country will be country and capital will be capital and uh, add one more parenthesis so uh, here uh, we are done with the fetched country and uh, adding data to our class so let's after this is done what we can do is we can just uh, print our uh, fetched country array okay that's we will that is what we will do so command r let's try to run it fetched country enclosure request okay we need to add self dot okay hit command r So here we have it. Uh, the this is how it is showing. But uh, so we are done with uh, fetching of data from an API. Uh, so in the next video, I will show you how to add this data to the table view. Thank you, guys.